Hey, pleasant good day, everybody. This is going to be a quick video on Jake Voracek, who was unfish, uh, unfortunately, excuse me, ruled unfit to play. Of course, we do not know exactly what this means. Charlie O'Connor just had a great tweet. To be clear on the Voracek absence, for those who aren't aware, during this return to play, teams are not allowed to reveal why a player is absent from practices or games, hence the unfit to play designation. So Voracek could just be a little nicked up. We just simply don't know. So it could be from an injury or it could be unfortunately something he was around somebody with the virus or something involved with the coronavirus we're obviously hoping it's the first thing and he's able to just come back and it's just a routine day off because he's feeling a little nicked up obviously that's what we hope it is everything's so uncertain right now with everything going on but we all wish jake well of course if he is out for an extended clip we're lucky we have one of the best depth rosters like I talked about before in the league. We have a bunch of good guys coming in. We got Fairby, who's definitely ready to play, who would just take even more of a step. And then in terms of offensive skill guys, it would be interesting since Joel was already on the second line in practice and basically, in the, in my opinion at least, almost in the lineup already for the playoffs unless it all goes the other way it showed that he's been good enough to be in he's a guy that plays a playoff style game he seems like he's in the lineup so who would they put in if jake's out maybe it would be morgan because morgan of course has the offensive uh, prowess and that will kind of replace there or you could go with german because german's better on the defensive end and you can work the defense from offense where that's part of frosty's game that he's still Pull, pulling together fully so it's going to be interesting to see who they go with they also really like bunny and bunny's obviously great on the defensive end as well so there's a lot of options we could go with if we need to go with somebody hopefully this is just again voracek getting nicked up for a short period of time because they're not allowed to reveal even if it is just a minor nick up injury what's going on with somebody due to the protocols in place for phase three and then phase four with the NHL for health reasons to not have everybody's business be out there, basically. So that's perfectly understandable. We wish Jake all the well. He's a guy that obviously killed it for us this year. He produced in 69 games played, 56 points for 12 goals and 44 assists. He was a very efficient playmaker for us this year while also being great on the defensive end. So that's a huge loss if we do have to lose him for any meaningful game periods of time. We hope and pray we'll be able to be back by then. If not, though, Morgan Frost, Connor Bunneman, or any of these guys can definitely step in and step up. German, even, I believe in that kid. He's great on the defensive end. He really worked on that since coming over and really get turning pro. That's what he's really honed in, so I love his game. These guys can step up, but... In order to have an extended playoff run, we are going to need someone like Voracek in our lineup. So we pray and hope that our Flyers forward will get healthy soon, whether it's just nicked up from an injury or if it's unfortunately something involved with the virus. This has been a quick video on the Jay Voracek news. This is Joe Borick for the Flyers Nitty Gritty team. If you enjoy the video, please like and comment below. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Peace out.